Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today. We need to simplify the square root of i. We need to find our our answer. Of course we are talking about complex complex number, this is not like a, a different i, this is about complex numbers. So let's start with this one. Every complex number can be written um, in this way. So we can write it as square root of i equal to a plus b times i. So we can write it as a plus b i. We all know that it will be equation one. This is our real part. This is our imaginary part. We all know that this is a classic, classic case. And we need two more things right here. We need to know that square root of minus one will equal to i and i square equal to minus one. This is about complex number. We need this information right here. So let's let's read this element to the second power. Let's square this to element. We will have square root of i squared. We will have equal to a plus b times i squared. So we need to raise it to the second power. Let's do this. Let's square it. Right here we cancel the square root sign, so we still have our i equal to, and right here we will have a plus b i, and we multiply it by a plus b times i. So to do same, to same parentheses. And right now let's multiply these parentheses. This one by this one. We'll have i equal to. We'll have a square plus 2a times b times i and plus b i squared. So we hope you understand it. Just multiply parentheses by parentheses. But right now, if we look closely to this, we will have i square right here inside this. We will have b square i square. But i square from here equal to minus 1. So we will have minus b square. I hope you understand this. Minus with this plus, we will have minus. So what we will have as a result? We will have i equal to a square plus 2ab i and minus b b square minus b square. And if we look closely to this, if we rearrange this in another way, we will have that i equal to a square minus b square and plus 2a to a b i. And if we look closely with this i, it will be imaginary part, imaginary part, and with this one, it will be real part. If you're talking about any complex number, any complex number have imaginary and real, real part. But where can we find real and imaginary part? How can we create this equation? We can easily write this as 0 plus i equal to a square minus b square and plus 2a b i. And if you look closely to this right here, we have number, but which number? We have number with real part. And right here we have number part with imaginary part. So real part equal to real part, we will have that a square minus b square, a square minus b square equal to zero. And right here we will have one equal to two ab. One equal to two ab. So I hope you understand this step. We just take it from this from these values. And right now we can write this equation as equation three and right here equation equation four. And how can we solve this? Take a look closely to this one, to this, this third equation. We will have that a square equal to b square. And if we take root from both of the side, we will have that a equal to b. And let's let's work with this, a equal to b. But let's, let's this four equation, let's solve this four equation. We will have one equal to, to a b. So we can easily divide both sides by 2b what we will have. We will have that 1 over 2b, 1 over 2b equal to 2ab over 2b. We just divide in both sides by 2b. And what it give us? Take a look closely. b and b we can cancel, 2 and 2 we can cancel. So as a result we will have that our a, our a equal to 1 over 2b. But moreover a equal to b. So we can easily change this b by a and we will have a equal to 1 over 2a, which give us, if you're using cross multiplying, which give us that a square equal to 1 half. 
and if we are talking about value of a, we will have that our a will be equal to plus minus square root of one half. So we find, we actually find our a. But what about b? How can we find our b from here? Of course, we know that our a is equal to b, so we can easily write that our a is equal to b equal to this value, but we can, we can prove that this will be the same. We will have that our a equal to 1 over 2b, but in the same case, b equal to a, so we can write it not a, but b equal to 1 over, over 2b, and we will have the same case. As you can see right here and right here, we will have that our b equal to plus minus square root of 1, square root of 1 half. So I hope you understand this step, two same, two same values. But right now we can easily find our final answer because we find our square root of i. So, but square root of i equal to a plus bi. We, we know these values right here. So we will have that our i is equal to square root of one half plus square root of one half times i. This is our real part, real part, and this is our imaginary part. This is our imaginary part. But I want to mention one really interesting thing because right here we have cases with plus. This is our with plus sign. And we also have a case with a minus sign. So we can easily write it that this is equal to this one or square root of i equal to minus one half with the square root sign and plus square root of one half times i. So this will be our answer. This one or this one because we, we still have with the minus sign. Two different different answers. Really interesting approach I want to share with you because there are a lot of methods. How can you solve it on the internet? A lot of methods. Five, ten methods, how can you find this square root of i? I want to share you with, with this one. What do you think about it? Write a question, comment, and on my channel. You can also throw another two methods, how can we find this square root of i? So if you're interested in this, of course, you can find it with this video on my channel and you can easily you can easily enjoy it with this with this solution. Thank you so much for watching, supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you turn notification on, if you subscribe, if you Put your thumbs up, it really, it really inspires me to make a new content every day, new interest in higher maths problem. It helps me a lot as a, as a human, like if you like it, why not, why not create this content. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing and see you in the next videos.